Hello, my lovelies. It's Susanna, and today I want to show you how to find out which of these numbers is larger. Is it 50 to the power of 99 or 99 factorial? Let's take a look at the first number. 50 to the power of 99 is nothing else but 50 multiplied by 50 multiplied by 50 and so on. 99 times. So in this product here, we have 99 factors. Okay, let's take a look at the second number. 99 factorial. Here, this is also a product starting at 99 and multiplying with the next smaller number. So times 98 times 97 and so on times 3 times 2 times 1. This product also contains of 99 factors. So now we just have to find a way to compare those two products. I wrote them here again and let's see what we can find. The first product only consists of 50s. Okay, the second, then we have different numbers from 1 to 99, but we know that the 50 is also here somewhere, but not anywhere. The number 50 is exactly in the middle between 1 and 99. That means that the 50 divides this product into two parts. A right side where we have 50 times 49 times 48 down to 1 and a left side where it goes up to 51 times 52 up to 99. So let's write this down a little nicer than it looks here. We take the 50 that is in our middle. On the right side we have the product from 49 down to 1. And on the left side, we have the product from 51 up to 99. If we take a look at the factors, we had 99 factors in total. We have one factor in the middle and 49 factors. I just write 49x. 49 factors here from 1 to 49 on the right side. With this in the middle, it's 50 factors and the other 49 factors factors are here on the left side. So the middle, 49 to the right, 49 to the left. We can do the same with this product, although it's not that exciting as it is here because we only have 50s, but of course there's also one 50 that lies in the middle here. So I write this green 50 here. This is the middle 50. And then we have fif uh, the product of 50s goes on on the right side. And also on the left side, we have a product of 50s. How many of those? There were 99 factors in total before. We have one in the middle. So we also have 49 factors on the right side and 49 factors on the left side. This is what I wrote down here again. And now we have to compare the sides. Here this 50 divided our product into two parts where all those numbers on the right side were smaller than 50 and all numbers on the left side are larger than 50. Here all of the numbers are 50, but we could um, pair them now. We could write it in a different order. We could say, okay, let's pick the largest number and the smallest number. So 99 times 1, I write it down like this. I don't change anything. I only change the order. So the 1 is not here on the right side. I, I write it next to the 99. I can put parentheses um, yeah, to, to just to show that this is a pair now. From now on, we pair them. We do the same with the second largest number, the 98, and pair it with the second smallest number with 2. And so on. We pair all those numbers. The last pair we have is the 51 and the 49. And the 50 in the middle doesn't have a partner, so we just write the 50 at the end here. Okay, 
we could do the same here with our 50s. We can pair them as well. We can pair the first 50 with the last 50. It doesn't make any sense, but so that we have the same structure. So it's 50 times 50, which equals 50 to the power of 2. The next pair would also be 50 to the power of 2, and so on. To the last pair is this one, and the 50 in the middle doesn't have a partner, so we write it at the end. If we take a look how many pairs we have now, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, till 49. So we have 49 of those pairs here, and this 150 at the end. And here it is the same. We had 49 50s here and we paired them with all the 50s uh, on the right side. So we also have 49 pairs here and this one 50 at the end. I wrote that down on this side again. And now the only thing that is left for us to do is to compare those pairs. So if we could show that the first pair here is larger than the first pair here, and this pair here is larger than this pair here, and all the other pairs are all larger than those pairs here, then this number would be larger in total than this number. We don't know it yet if it's larger or smaller. We will find, find it out. But uh, this is what is left to do. So let's take a look at those numbers because I don't want to go through all 49 of those pairs and compare them individually. There has to be some kind of structure so that, that we can say, yeah, all of those are larger or smaller than all of these. Okay, how do we do it? If we take a look at the numbers, we have 1 and 99. We have 2 and 98. 49, 51. All those numbers add up to 100. 199, 100, here 100, here 100. This means that if we take a look at the middle of those two numbers, the middle is 50. The same here, the middle is 50, and also here the middle is 50. From the middle, to get to 49, we would subtract 1. From the middle to 51, we would add 1. The same here. To get from 50 to 2, we would subtract 48. And on the other side, from 50 to get to 98, we would add 48. Same here. On one side, we would subtract a number. And on the other side, we would add exactly that number. Okay, so let's write this down. We can say that this first product, 99 times 1 is nothing else but the 99 can be written as 50 plus 49 and the 1 can be written as 50 minus 49. That is the first product. The second, 98 times 2. It has the same structure. The 98 can be written as 50 plus 48 this time. And the 2 can be written as 50 minus 48. And this structure goes on to the last pair we had here, the 51 times 49 pair, which is nothing else but 50 plus 1. And the second pair or the second number would be 50 minus 1. So a lot of stuff to write. How does that help us now? Well, now we can just multiply those both parentheses. We could use FOIL to do that. So multiply the first, multiply the outer, multiply the inner, and multiply the last. Or if you take a look at the structure, we want to multiply a sum with a difference and in both parentheses, we have the same numbers, then it's easy to multiply them because the result is always take the first number and square it. So 50 squared minus take the second number and square it 49 squared. And that's the same here. We have a sum, we have a difference, we want to multiply it. In the parentheses, we have the same numbers. So it's take the first number and square it, 50 squared minus second number 
squared. And this goes on. And here we have the same structure. It's exactly why we found that structure. So that we can say it's 50 squared minus 1 squared. And now it is so easy to co compare those numbers with these numbers here. 50 squared minus 49 squared. So from 50 squared, we subtract a positive number. This is always smaller than just 50 squared. This here as well, we subtract something from 50 squared. So this is all smaller than 50 squared. All those numbers are smaller than just 50 squared because we always subtract a positive number. So all these numbers here, all those pairs are smaller than all those pairs on this side. So this number in total is smaller here, the green number, and thus we can say 99 factorial is smaller than 50 to the power of 99. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm curious which way you found to compare these two numbers. Please let me know in the comments. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care.